What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in early Saturday morning almost 6 a.m. here September 19th 2020. Uh, they did have a uh, earthquake down there around the Los Angeles area overnight. Uh, in fact it was pretty much uh, about an hour or so right after my nightly update video uh, that I did last night. A 4.5 earthquake striking the Southern California region shaking things up a bit down there. Uh, it was pretty quiet oh, last night or so. I think there was a little bit of swarming going on down there. Uh, so I think we talked about that a little bit in the update video. But uh, definitely had some good shaking going on there. 4.5 earthquake hitting the SoCal region. And this here is the map of that said earthquake. You got the uh, greater Los Angeles region in the view here orange circle indicating that 4.5 earthquake that struck near uh, no, Mont Montebello region Whittier area <clears throat> right smack dab on this or at least right on the south end of this East Montebello fault uh, pretty much within the same area as that uh, oh, the 1987 earthquake the Whittier Narrows earthquake we'll talk about that here in just a second um, surprisingly I mean, I shouldn't say surprisingly, <clears throat> there's not a whole lot of earthquake activity, or at least far as aftershock activity taking place following this 4.5. Normally, Southern California, that region and the dynamics of the fault systems out there will see a large amount of uh, aftershocks following a similar magnitude in any given area. For some reason, we're not seeing that uh, with this earthquake here, which tells me that we're potentially could still see uh, some release of energy in this area and uh, like I said there's what have we got only three aftershocks following that 4.5 roughly about the same depth uh, as the original four shock which was 4.5 uh, did shake things up a bit I seen a few comments that were mentioned on the video last night after I did the updates uh, that there was a, there was a quake down there Taking a look at the shake map real quick here. You can see, uh, let's see where to go here. Well, I don't really want to look at that. Let's just go back to the overview real quick here. Um, Four point five, not a major quake, right? Definitely not something that we would consider major. Uh, even out here in California, but uh, it will definitely do some shaking, especially right around when uh, people are getting ready for bed, 11.30 at night or so. I think it was 11.38 when that uh, specific earthquake struck here, West Coast time. And uh, definitely shake things up there. You can see some light, moderate. Looks like right around the epicenter, possibly some uh, upper moderate shaking there on the intensity scale. The, uh, of course, population density down there is rather high, so you're going to see quite a few folks reported this uh, um, earthquake to the USGS. Pretty much all over the uh, greater Los Angeles area. Uh, what we got here? 497 um, reports out there, looks like. At least, uh, yeah, there's quite a bit there quite a bit so you can see uh, a lot of people were up that late at night obviously though um, if I think if I was sleeping and there was 4.5 hit I would definitely feel it out there for sure um, there's a little bit of uh, let's see aftershock forecast here from the USGS that they sometimes put out um, on certain earthquakes throughout the state and well any state for that matter uh, these guys it's kind of something new for them you know it's not really a prediction uh, of course with any given quake out there you have the potential of running into aftershocks or potentially uh, more larger quakes what these guys think will happen is according to their forecasts over the next one week 
there is a 1% chance or more of more aftershocks that are larger than magnitude 4.5. It is likely that there will be smaller earthquakes over the next one week, of course, right? Aftershocks uh, with 0 to 2 magnitude 3, 3 or higher aftershocks. Um, yeah, there's quite a... What do we got here? Like I say, these guys are just kind of putting this out here, you know, on a uh, forecast as far as like you know, you take you take into account averages during any type of earthquake out there, and and what type of fault system it occurs on, and this this specific earthquake occurred on a uh, blind thrust fault, uh, blind thrust fault area. Faults are basically, well, you can't see them, at least at the surface anyway. A lot of times these faults are discovered by um, drilling or fracking or or otherwise. But uh, that's why it's called a blind thrust. You can't really see at the surface there. Down below, yes. But uh, definitely not at the surface. So the forecast, once again, at least according to these folks here. We'll go over here to the specific forecast here. Uh, at least magnitude. There's always a percentage of something higher, right? They got... Um, the majority of these, at least even the large magnitudes, up around 1% or so. Let's kind of why I think uh, this is just potentially some uh, small release of energy down there. You know, Southern California is a, a spider web network of uh, fault systems. <clears throat> And, uh, of course, the San Andreas Fault does sit down there. This earthquake activity, of course, took place a ways away from there. But when you have a uh, bunch of little faults along a major plate boundary, such as the San Andreas Fault here, um, there's you know high potential for release down there. Especially within this region that can see some large quakes there, back in 1987 here. Same area, folks. Uh, generally the same area with only within a short short range excuse me kind of just waking up here um, got some stuff I gotta do today but uh, seen this earthquake and read quite a few comments on there I thought I'd do a quick update video on this uh, earthquake that struck in Southern Cal I live here in Northern California so we don't uh, I didn't feel this one obviously um, yeah, back in 1987, it looks like uh, 7.42 a.m. in the morning there, October 1st, uh, there was a 5.9 magnitude quake, blind thrust earthquake on that specific fault that I mentioned. Uh, centered several miles north of Whittier in the town of Rosemead, roughly in the same region, folks. A uh, lot of damage with this earthquake here. You can see back then, 1987, 213 to 358 million dollars worth of damage. Uh, 200 injuries and some fatalities there. Um, pretty crazy. It looks like a separate 5.2 strike slip event occurred three days later and several kilometers to the northwest. That's why I'm saying there's always a lot of pressure within this region, not just on any given fault. And when you do have a release of energy on one fault, well, what does that do to the other system, the other fault systems within the region? Or potentially further out you know it's it doesn't magically disappear into the air um, that pressure is ultimately transferred when you have these cluster of, of uh, cluster of earthquakes or uh, uh, what am I, fault systems down here and there's I'm sure a lot more they didn't even really discover this specific fault system until around that time the earthquake activity back in 1987 took place so who knows <clears throat> how many more um, blind thrust fault systems are out there that we do not know about. <clears throat> so it's good to be on guard today. I would say over the next several days or so, see what happens with this activity. Like I said, there's only a small amount of aftershocks that have occurred with this 4.5. And most of the time we see hundreds following the supposed main quake like this here in Southern California. It's just kind of way stuff works out here. 
with the fault systems and the amount of pressure that's out here along the two major plates here the North American over here on the east side of the San Andreas Fault and the Pacific Plate that's on the west side now this activity took place uh, about 30 miles or so southwest of the San Andreas Fault system there this whole section down here is locked um, and has been building up pressure for an extremely long time so if you live around Southern Cal Los Angeles area definitely uh, be on guard be prepared for potentially further activity here I mean 5.9 earthquake today would definitely do some damage and uh, create a lot of havoc down there but uh, even though a 5.9 is strong it's nothing compared to what this section along here can do uh, in the future they're talking about an 8.0 potentially higher I think an 8.1 is the, uh, the highest threshold within this region here uh, that would be completely devastating for that area So yeah, we covered, uh, let's see, what do we got here? The 1987 earthquake. Um, depth of that earthquake was about uh, 14 kilometers or so back in 1987. And this one that they had last night, roughly about the same depth there within the same area as that 1987 earthquake, 16.9 kilometers. Um, not a whole lot of difference there. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of Earth history there within that uh, within that region, at least as far as the uh, 80s go. Back in the 80s. All right, folks. Um, yeah, we're kind of keeping an eye on it, as I mentioned. Just be prepared out there. Looks like there's a little bit of activity up north around San Francisco there 2.4 nothing really specific out here on the San Andreas Fault except a little bit of activity along the creeping section there of the uh, San Andreas Fault there with 2.5 near Hollister I'm gonna see if I can't bring up a uh, a different station here far as the activity going there on the seismographs there closest one I have right now there in Southern Cal is a station in Mammoth Lake so I'm gonna try to zoom in there to the Los Angeles area and get that uh, picked up for uh, monitoring activity the Mendocino fault system um, seismograph station there's offline for some reason that's kind of the station I keep an eye on for my activity or my area of activity that's gonna be Mendocino California here in, in the north part of the state there, southern part of the San Andreas Fault, or of the uh, Cascadia Subduction Zone. Still waiting for my caffeine to kick in. Um, so yeah, not for sure what's going on with that, but I'm gonna see if I can find some stations there around the Los Angeles area uh, for monitoring the activity over the next couple days here. So please stay safe, folks. Uh, if you have family out there, just, you know, I'm sure they felt the earthquake, hopefully. I'm sure they did. 4.5 is a, a definitely a good jolt. You know, just let them know, uh, hey, keep, uh, keep, uh, keep your emergency supply kit handy. Earthquake plan in check. I think that's a uh, given down there, right? That should be uh, given pretty much anywhere here in California. So we'll chat you guys a little bit later, folks. Uh, like I said, I've got a few things I gotta do today, and I will be back later um, or sooner if something else happens out here. Until then, we'll catch you guys a little bit later.